Welcome back to Safeties and Illusion Podcast. This is Season 2, and this is Episode 2. My name is Ghost Strats, and today we're going to be talking about artificial intelligence. Now, I want to particularly talk about something that I think that's on the horizon, and I'm going to call it the AI viruses or the AI malwares, or maybe a smart virus. I don't know what to name it, but it's going to be something that uses AI inside of malware, like something that where this program can be more aware of its surroundings. For example, there's already stuff out there that right now, if you were to go look at a virus on the computer, it can disguise itself as a background process and turn itself off. So these viruses are already changing from just being something that's already that's stagnant to something that can change in uh, just by its environment. So as these viruses get smarter, that I think we're going to be seeing more of a scary change in how we have to fight these things and i also think that you're going to see ai take over a lot of things that to start to get out of control in a certain way now i'm not like like the movie stuff but i mean already look at like what ai can create on its own already you could tell it to write code for you you could tell it to make something for you what if you had like an artificial intelligence that ran like a server right and that was smart enough where it could download itself and replicate itself if it was ever to get compromised or sense that it was being compromised. So a lot of these like dark web websites get taken down over time. Some of the biggest downfalls of these dark web websites, these marketplaces is that these people that run it get compromised and these servers end up getting taken down. So what if you didn't have somebody that ran it? What if you made an artificial intelligence that created the website for you which you can do i mean you could tell artificial intelligence right now hey build me a website that does a b and c and it will create it for you so what if you had this ai that if the server was to get compromised or make copies of itself on multiple servers that bounced around constantly that every time a site got taken down it would just reapply and make itself and it would it's as if it's like it's on its own like you would never be able to take it down where if one server got taken down, it, it would spark another one. Like, it would make another one. Like, oh, this one went down. Let's build another website. And it kept reproducing the same website. And you let this virus, smart virus, or the smart AI, replicate itself throughout the dark web. It would be very, very hard to take it down. I mean, it, it, there's, like, a lot of instances where I'm already looking at making some connections where I see how AI can, like I said, write code. Or it can write programs or write websites. I mean, it, it could... If you told the virus, it's just, I mean, there's even rogue AI that right now, like AI has some like limitations and filters that you can't make certain things with it, but it's not that hard to take these filters off. And how long until you see these rogue AIs take over? I mean, anything's accessible and over time it's, it's, I think it's going to spiral out of control. And how do you defend against this stuff? Like there's going to be a new wave of digital warfare. That's not going to be like anything that we see, see, seen, have seen. Um, and I, you're talking about things that can completely disrupt the financial system. Um, AI replacing jobs alone, like not even the, the cyber warfare part of it, just AI re- taking the jobs away. And these like these bots that have the AI built into them. What are we going to do as a society when there's, there's already not enough jobs to support in between inflation and all the printing money? Like we're we're we're, we're setting up for failure here. And even in the end times, I mean, even the Bible it talks about. In revelations how there's gonna be one world currency i mean you could see it i mean there's gonna be some kind of event that's gonna push everything to that we have one world currency and they even talk about the mark of the beast but just to get back on like this the smart virus part like can, can't you imagine that these things can exist or they're already being worked on as we're speaking like if i if i'm thinking about this and, I, and, I, and i'm i'm kind of fairly new with cybersecurity. I know stuff about tech. I know things about networking. But the more and more I do research on artificial intelligence, the more and more of the bad side I'm starting to see of it. And I'm starting to see where AI could fix the problems in the criminal underworld on the dark web. Like, if they started implementing some of these things and started decentralizing the criminal activity, that's going to ch- it's going to be a big problem. And I don't know how they could stop something like that. You can have these, and, the, and these AIs can operate on their own without human interaction, some of them. So if somebody solely, like a lot of the times people get compromised because of just the greed, right? 
they want to make all this money. They're crypto wallets. They lead them into uh, these. Uh, they lead the the FBI or whatever whatever criminal uh, whatever law enforcement agency would find eventually find these people that make these malicious sites and stuff like that. But if you didn't have a person behind it, and you had an artificial intelligence do, doing such a thing, it's gonna be very hard to stop. Especially if this website AI or this artificial intelligence is smart enough where once in the one node gets taken down, it jumps to the next node and it saves copies of itself throughout whatever is affected devices that are out, out there. I mean, it doesn't take most, doesn't take a lot of hardware to run a website sometimes. It really doesn't. And I think, and I think it'd be smart enough to realize, okay, well, this computer is better than this one. So we're going to build a website off of this one. And then you'd be constantly chasing this invisible ghost. It, it's, it's, it's something that it, it's science fiction until it's no longer science fiction. So, and I think we're getting to a dangerous spot in the world where, especially a dangerous spot with AI, is that this stuff's on the horizon. And I don't think we're doing much to prepare ourselves for it. I really hope that, that, that we are, because this is going to change. It's. I don't know how to like under, I can put it in perspective. Like, you're talking. Things could be locked down. Grids could be taken offline. I mean, I'm not trying to do doomsday scenario stuff, but like artificial intelligence, it's, it's almost as if you pu you push a rock down a hill, you just let it go, and whatever damage happens along the way. And some people just like to operate in chaos. I mean, you start to take away the human aspect of things, it's no longer predictable. But I just want to do a short podcast on this because there's something like I just it caught my attention today because again I was supposed to do a, the podcast on the dark web and all the findings that I've been doing in my research and uh, how disgusting which I'm probably gonna do I'm go I'm going to make a dark web podcast after this one because it's just fresh in my brain but when it comes to AI and these smart viruses how the smart AI vi powered viruses and these uh, the AI filling in the gaps when it comes to like the digital organized crime world I'm scared I'm, I'm honestly generally I'm scared like I'm honestly scared so I don't know it's going to be a whole di different error but I don't think this is far-fetched I don't I th we're already seeing little bits and pieces of this stuff already so who knows it, it would happen quick too like it wouldn't it wouldn't be a gradual thing like it just it'll pop up one day and then mass issues but that's why we should learn to prepare ourselves because we're going to need a lot of people to, to fight back and to just be, understand cybersecurity. That's why like, I think this is a good field to get into right now because I think we're on the edge of some digital warfare. Like where we're constantly fighting and uh, and I'm, I'm worried. I really am worried. So, all right, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, am, am I crazy or is this a crazy thought this will never happen? Or could you guys see this happening? Please uh, leave a comment and uh, remember... Safety is an illusion, and I'll see you in the next podcast.